The third century at this language arises, and Bayezid is the god of that kind of language. Again, I repeat that, and this is a mystery, how somebody in a corner of a small village can create this, this kind of language for theological understanding. This is a mystery. After that, in 309, Hallaj was killed in 309. Means about 70 years after Bayezid. Then he said that, Ana al-Haq, I am Haq. <coughs> this is again paradoxical and emotional and artistic. Some people understand the nonsense. And because of that, they think Hallaj deserves to be killed, as they did. Or, by as uh, Hallaj says, Subhani ma a'adamu shahni. Uh, like by Yazid. Or, after that, in 425, in the beginning of the first half of the 5th century, about 200 years after by Yazid, you come to Abu al-Hasan al When you go from Bastam, when you drive about 10 minutes to the north, you come to a small village called Kharaban. Abu al-Hasan al is there. And these two figures are, uh, in fact, we can say the creators of this language. Kharaban said, Asumfi Gayro Makhluk. Arif is not Makhluk. Then what is it? It is Khaleb, it is God. Asumfi Gayro Makhluk. This is paradoxical. And this is nonsense for some people. And very subtle and high uh, standard of meaning for some others. Or when we come at the same time, almost in the time of Kharavani, you know the very, very famous figure of the 5th century of Islamic civilization, Abu Sayyid Abu Khair. He said, لَيْسَ فِي جُبَّتِي سَوَى اللَّهِ In my dress, in my kharqa, there is nothing my God but Allah. What does it mean? Again, this is the Shat. These are four famous Shatriyat in the history of Islamic mysticism. As I said, nonsense for some people and the deepest meaningfulness for some others. However, whether we whether we take it to be nonsense or some, with some meaning, Shat carries a clear contradiction from within. As I said, it is paradoxical. How can a drop of water claim to be the ocean? But an aesthetic overlook can dissolve this contradiction. Shat comes from arts family. It, it is some kind of art. And for these people, for RF, religion and art comes from the same source. When did, when did this kind of language become possible in the Islamic societies? It is a very important question. Even now, after 1,200 years, we don't dare in many, many Islamic societies to talk like this. How was it possible that at that time somebody talks with this language and live very respectful in the society? We don't see it in the second century, or even the first half of the third. In 
fact, it stops with biasing. For example, as I mentioned, it goes beyond the barriers of grammar. Baohu, Behu, Bechish, Najwakata. Baohu, Behu, Bechish, Najwakata. With him, towards him, without myself, I whispered. In this, in this very deep mystic experience, in this kind of whispering, with him, towards him, without myself, I whisper. How is it possible? So, you see, those who know the Persian language today, in the, in the structure of the language, uh, this, this, is, this behavior of the language is... is uh, is unique. He belongs to himself. It is not a common behavior with the language. What remains from Bayezid is Kitab nur as I will say, Sahlaki. It is in Arabic. It is some centuries after Bayezid that Sahlaki came, and what people read knew from Bayezid, which was in Persian, most probably, in the, in the dialect uh, of uh, Gomez, that area, Bastan. We, we have very, very few sentences in the original uh, Gomez uh, uh, dialect uh, from Bayezid. Others have been translated to Arabic, by people like Sahlaki, and then after that from Arabic to Persian. For example, one sentence which is remaining in other sources, the pure Persian uh, of Bayezid said that وَكَذَلِكَ كَانَ أَبُوْ يَزِيدْ يُنَادْ يَرَبْهُ فِي أَخَرُ أُمْنِي وَيَقُولْ بِالْفَارَسِيَ This is from Majduddin Baghdadi, who died in the 7th century. Kardi Vadasti. This sentence from Kart means knife. Das means hand. Just by Aziz brain was that to God. Kardi Vadasti. A knife and a hand. That, that's all. Kardi Vadasti. This was his brain. This means that, oh, Sahlaki, Majdudin Bakhtar, he understood that. He's praying that, oh God, give me a knife so that I can cut my hands. You know the story of Yusuf in the in the Quran. That when when women in the court of the king was whispering uh, about Yusuf that he intended to do that, to do that with the Zuleikha and things like that. And he, in fact, the rumors came that Zuleikha fell in love with Yusuf and he, she lost her will and things like that. So people, while Yusuf was in, the, in prison, first Yusuf was, Yusuf was uh, accused. You know the story, and this is a very delicate matter. What boy does it want to say? Shall I tell the story in it for the delicate the delicacy of that, or you know that? Huh? You say. You say. You know that the story is that uh, in the Quran we have that Zuleikha, the wife of the Aziz of Mesr. He asked Yusuf to make up with him, with him. And Yusuf refused. And then Yusuf wanted to escape, and Zuleikha wanted to take him, and the shirt was torn apart. And in this scene, 
the husband arrived there. And Zuleikha was shocked. Now, this is the image of a uh, of the first lady of the court, and he is approaching in this scene uh, his servant, her servant. What will happen? This is the delicate matter. Now, you you, you imagine the scene that. Uh, Aziz, the husband, is here, and see this scene, and Zuleikha is in that spirit, on that state of uh, feelings, and Yusuf. The first action came from Zuleikha. This is the delicate. He said, she said that he intended to approach her. This was her first reaction. Without, uh, and Yusuf was silent. The first reaction came from Zulukia, accused Yusuf. And Yusuf said, replied, no, she was. This is the first thing. This story goes and goes, as you know, in the end, Zuleikha confessed that I was the one who approached. And at the same time, Yusuf said that When Zuleikha said that I was, he confessed to the truth, Yusuf said that, oh, and I don't want to purify myself. There was something in me as well, but God kept me, protected me. Then he came one step forward. When Zuleikha was more truthful, uh, Yusuf became more humble. I said, they can, oh, I don't want to purify myself, but God protected me. The delicacy is that I want to say mystic understanding of the Quranic sources, which will, re, re, will be reflected in this kind of language. The, the, the secret of this very, very short phrase of Bayezid, Kar di Madasti, O God, a knife and a hand. The secret is that, as you see in the tafsir of Abu Bakr, Atiq, Nesh, Aburi, in the 5th century, when the husband arrived, and Zuleikha said that Yusuf approached me. And Yusuf replied, no, she was reacted. Up to now, every, uh, Yusuf was truthful. He said uh, the, the truth. But in the tafsir of Neishaburi, Abu Bakhati, he said that, which is a mystic figure, he said that, Jibrail, Gabriel, the angel, came to the Yusuf and said that, Why do you mention, why do you mention and uh, going to distort the image of Zuleikha, the one who claimed to love you? Why don't you keep the respect of that love? And Yusuf said that because she accused me wrongly. And Jebrail said that yes, she accused. But this weakness of her is because of your love. You shouldn't react like him. So Yusuf was accused by Jebrail, according to this tafsir. It is not in the Quran, it is a mystical tafsir. And then uh, Jebrail told uh, Yusuf that, look at this baby who, you know that the baby said that if the, the shirt is torn apart from behind, then it is only fine. All of these things that you know, uh, Jebrail said to Yusuf that you shouldn't be that transparent when the image of somebody who loved you is in danger. So 
So Yusuf was criticized. Yeah. And then in the end, Zulaikha gradually started to confess that I was the source of problem. And the, there was a rumor among the women of the court that uh, the women of the court that oh, the first lady wanted to do that and that. And then Zulaikha invited Yusuf to come to the scene while these women were talking with uh, gossiping and things like that. And when Yusuf passed, his beauty was so strong that these people were going to, with a knife, to eat an uh, orange. <laughs> and they looked at Yusuf and they cut their hands. They, they, they didn't know what they were doing. They didn't, they didn't feel. Instead of cutting the orange, they cut their hand. And this is that Hafez said that Garash Bebin Yo Dastas Turanj National Sirao Wat Kemalao Matkonik Zolei Khara. Those who are going to blame Zolaikha, they sh first should see Yusuf and then blame her. If you see Yusuf and then you differentiate between your hand and the orange, then you have the right to, to blame Zolaikha. So this, this was the, the story of the Quranic story. All of this image of this long story with all of this matter is expressed artistically in two words by Bayezid. The whole meaning of that. Oh God, a knife and a hand. Means that show me your beauty so that I cannot differentiate. Anything. You know that Kratul Oriya, I don't want to traduce. I didn't know that. What? <laughs> what? I'm saying you know that Kratul Oriya, and you come to that talk. So you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have been in that talk. And the Attar source, definitely the Attar source, the main source of Attar in that Kratul Oriya, to write about Bayezid, has been. Uh, the book of uh, Abu Fazl, Abu Fazl Muhammad ibn Ali Sahlaki, uh, who was uh, from Bastan, the same place, uh, in the end of 4th century and died uh, in 5th century. You know, these 4th and 5th century are miracle in Islamic civilization. I would like to, if you have time, to talk about the, the culmination of all of these different language, either whether scientific, philosophical, mystical, poetic in, in this period. Why this is a secret we should talk later on. Uh, Abdul Rahman Badawi, you know him from, uh, you, perhaps you heard his name in Paris, was professor of several very famous speaker, lots of very fantastic works. Abdul Rahman Badawi edited and uh, published this Tahlaki's source, Kitab al Nur. And Dr. Shafi Katkani in Iran is uh, working on another, very, another edition that I think will be much better than Abdul Rahman because Abdul Rahman clearly has many, many mistakes in editing that. We are waiting to, to see Shafi's work. Now, when I explain some introduction about the language, now I give you some examples. Maybe Shanaukhas Tashudi Komshode. Baman that pay Matsuka. But that Shahud Moju. An unseen has been known. The realm of sin is lost. And I am present at the realm of unseen and existing in the realm of sin. Look at the, the reference, the very subtle reference of this saying to the Quranic verse. 
I, I would like to mention this Quranic source to say that this has been originated from their understanding from the Quran, but this kind of understanding was new. It was not precedented. The kingdom is his. The day that the sword is uh, the, 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 the great noise. And it is in that place that the world of unseen and the world of sin are come in the amber of one kingship. In, in a manifestation will become under one kingdom. I repeat the, the, the Bayezid one. An unseen has been known. The realm of sin is lost. And I am present at the realm of unseen and existing in the realm of sin. Hafiz, later on, in the 8th century, you see Hafiz how took this kind of language from people like Bayezid. Huzuri garhami khawi azu qawi mashu hafiz matal mawtal qaman tahwa da'id dunya wa ahmed ha. I mentioned this uh, wording of Bayezid with him, by him, without self, I did whisper. Bayezid said, I departed from myself like a snake from its shell. I then looked at myself. I saw me to be him, God. I saw me to be him. The climax of this language you can see in something of, called Mehraj, Ascension of Bayezid. The Arafa, the mystics, almost at the same time with him, like Zunnun Misri, like Sahl ibn Abdullah Tastari, like Yahya ibn Ma'ad Razi, like Ahmad ibn Khadrabiyya Balkhi, and great figures in mysticism after him, like Junaid, Shabli, Kharaqani, Abu Sayyid Abu Khair, Imam Muhammad Ghazali, that you visited his grave, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Ainul Qazat, I'm going to talk. Attar, you visited. And Shams Tabrizi and Jalaluddin Rumi. All these figures after him. All of them, they mentioned Bayezid in the highest level of respect. Because he was the, the creator of this paradigm of understanding. For example, Junaid, the famous figure, he said that Bayezid amongst us is like Gabriel amongst angels. And again, the ultimate scope of all wafers to Tawheed is the departure point of this Khurasani. You know who said that? That in Tazkiratul Awliya, Atta said that the starting point, the starting point of the spiritual journey of this Khurasan, means Bayezid, is the end of our trial. Mean we, we try, we try, then we finish our try, we pave that way, that is the place that Bayezid already started. But Bayezid, the ultimate scope of Siddiqin, 
is the starting status for the prophets. Bayezid said that the ultimate scope of studying truthful believers, what is the ultimate point that they can reach in a spiritual journey, is the starting status of prophets. Prophet starts from the point that they already may reach. So Bayezid says this about the Siddirin compared to the prophets. And this Orafah saying that about Bayezid, that when the, the point he starts is the plane that we end. And Bayezid said that چونی که نگه کردم سر خود بر کف پا یک نبی دیدم پس معلومم شد که نهایت حال اولیا به نهایت حال انبیاز نهایت انبیا را قاید نیست نهایت انبیا را قاید نیست خرقانی اول حسن خرقانی explaining his enthusiasm to travel to خراسان refers to visit امام رضا شرین and بایزید گریف خاقانی سایی Khawani, Khawani Shermani, that you say. When Khawani uh, is saying a very, very high quality of poetry, beautiful, about his uh, enthusiasm to visit Khorasan, the place you were in, he said, oh, I go there and visit Imam Raza and visit Bayezid. Mm -hmm. Visit Bayezid for him was, in, in, in the, after Imam Raza, just the figure was Bayezid. Okay, I think I should stop. My, my great master is here. Thank you. There are sources who claim that Imam, uh, that Bayezid was the student of Imam Sadiq for a period. There are some mentioning about that. But historically, we cannot definitely accept that because of the chronology of the events there. Bayezid died in 234, beginning, uh, middle of the first half of the third century, or 261. Even if you accept 234, Imam Sadr died in 148. This means that if Bayezid was with Imam Sadiq he should have lived more than 100 years. This is not, this is not very, very much accepted. Of course, people like Sahlaki like live more than 90 years. It is not uh, refutable. Rationally, rationally somebody can live. 100 years or more. But this was not usual. And even if what, that was the case, Bayezid should have met Imam Sadiq when he was uh, a teenage or uh, very, very young. Therefore, we cannot judge. Some people like Fakhr Razi mentioned that uh, Bayezid met Imam Sadiq was with him. But even they say that probably there was another one called Bayezid, another Bayezid, not this one, who met Imam Sadiq. However, there is a, there is a saying, we cannot uh, accept it totally and we cannot reject it. Is there any saying that is asking about Bayezid meeting on the law in the universe? No. Really? No. Maruf Kafi. Maruf Kafi is mentioned that Imam Reza. Maruf Kafi, yes. He was one of the mystics. Yeah. <laughs> but they, people deny that as well. There, there are some, there are some uh, quotations here and there very much from Maruf Kafi that it, it is acceptable okay. that you claim it. However, you find no one in the 
history of Islamic uh, mysticism, who created so many questions and story about him like Bayezid. Bayezid is the most mysterious one. Lots of stories and uh, images and questions created around him. Again, to understand his language, I'm emphasizing on the language, and this is our problem. Even today, in the, in the Islamic world, the pro we have the problem of language. Meaning that we do not put ourselves in the paradigm of the language, and we don't want to define on which language game we are playing a fault. And that is the, 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 the cause of many, many 